What's up motherfuckers, it's me again, back with another cool tutorial. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make something like this. Let's get started, create new project, import your video. Next, we are going to do some tracking. This will take a while, here's some memes while waiting. Meow! All done. Create track solid and adjust it the same as the ground position. Hit play, and see if the tracking is not shaky. Oh no! no. <laughs> the tracking looks fucking good. Now let's move on. We are going to export this project to Cinema 4D. Go to File and Export as Cinema 4D Exporter. Double click on the project we've saved earlier. As you can see, the track solid is present from After Effects. That is why I prefer using Cinema 4D and After Effects because they are linked together. Anyway, create a new plane. Remember, if you are going to move around the camera, always uncheck 3D camera, because it's going to fuck up your tracking. Middle click to open up perspective views. Middle click again to select view. Try to position it the same as the track solid. Create a new shape. Use whatever you like. I prefer the default cube for this tutorial. Same process as we did before. You stone? Yeah. yeah. Now, this is all the cool shit happens. <laughs> Click Mograph. Click Voronoi Fracture. Drag the cube inside the Voronoi Fracture. Once that's done, your shape will look like this. Click the plane, simulation tags and click Collider. Select Voronoi. Simulation tags, and click rigid body. Next, create a new material. Double click material. Uncheck reflectance and go over to color. Select texture. Load the video file. Go to editor and check animate preview. Let's create a new background. Apply the texture to the background. Make sure the projection is frontal. Check 3D camera again, and see the magic. But, let's adjust the plane. Let's adjust the plane and resize our cube. Looks good so far, but it's not looking realistic. We are going to adjust some values. Select Voronoi Fracture, go to Dynamics Body. Play around the values of friction. The higher the value, the less it's going to spread, and also bounce. Go to Sources, Point Generator. Select Distribution Type to Exponential. Experiment with X, Y, and Z options. See what fits your liking. We've already finished the main effect we need. Now, we are going to do some compositing. Apply Texture to the Plane. Projection Frontal. Select Plane. Right click, Cinema 4D Tags, Compositing. Uncheck Cast Shadows, and check Composite Background. Hide the Track Solid. Click Render View, 
and see what it's gonna look like in final render. Nice. Let's texture our cube. Create a new material. Uncheck reflectance. Go to color and load your texture. Select for annoy. Click selections. Check inside faces. Drag the textures to Voronoi. Select the second texture and drag the inside faces into selection. What this will do is it's going to apply the texture inside of your shape. Click object. Uncheck colorize fragments. It will look like this. Wow. Magic. You can do magic. Click render view. Now we are going to add some lighting. Select light and click area light. Select light. Click shadows. And select area. Try to match the lighting of your footage. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. That's a lot of work to do but finally, we are done. It's time to render it. Go to render settings. Select render to physical. Click effect and enable ambient occlusion. Go to output and make it all frames. Next, go to save and create a save file directory. <laughs> Now, you just need to wait for 6 years. Let's play some games first while waiting. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Hope you learned something. See you in my next tutorial. Goodbye.